In this last section, we're going to look at interest, and we have one formula to use, the formula for simple interest. And it says that interest is equal to principal times rate times time. The rate is given as a percent, time is given in years. So simple interest, the amount of interest that you'll earn in an account in one year or any amount of time, uh, that's where the interest is earning at a rate that's simple interest, we have I is equal to P times R times T. Let's go to the board now and work some problems. A man invests $2,000 in a savings plan that pays 8% per year. How much money will be in the account at the end of one year? So I have this. I is equal to P times R times T. So the amount of interest in the account will be the principal, that's $2,000, times the rate, which will be 8%, so I'm going to change to a decimal, times the amount of time, which in this case is one year. Now when I multiply uh, 0.08 times 2,000, I end up with 160. So $160 is the amount of interest that's earned in one year. So at the end of one year, the account has in it $2,000 plus $160, and that adds up to $2,160. So the amount of money in the account at the end of one year will be $2,160 because the account earns 8% simple interest in one year, so principal times rate times time gives me the amount of money, gives me the amount of money in interest that's earned in that account in one year. I add that into the account and I get the total amount of money in the account at the end of one year. Here's another problem. Problem two, if $400 is borrowed at a rate of 12% per one year, how much is the interest? So again, this is a simple interest problem and I have interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So even though this time we're borrowing money, it's the same formula in simple interest. The principal is the total amount of money. The rate, in this case, is 12%, so 0.12. And then the amount of time, again, is one year. So if I multiply 400 times 0.12 times 1, I end up with $48. And this time, we're asked for simply how much is the interest, and so the interest is $48. So principal times rate times time. Principal is the amount of money that you start with. The interest rate is a percent, which I change to a decimal, and then the amount of time is always given in years. So if you borrow $400 at a simple interest rate of 12%, after one year you will owe in interest $48. Here's another problem. Problem three, a loan of $1,200 at 9% simple interest is paid off in 90 days. What is the interest? So this time I have the uh, amount of time given in days, and so I'm going to have to convert that into years. So again, interest is principal times rate times time, and time is given in one year. So I want to find out the amount of interest, so I take my principal, 1,200, and multiply times the rate, 0.09, so I write my 9% as a decimal 0.09. And now I have 90 days. So I'm going to write that as a fraction of a year. 90 over. Now, you might think this should be 365, but when it comes to interest problems, the standard number of days in a year that we use is 360. That might seem a little odd, but that's the way it is. And you have to use 360 in a problem like this. So 90 divided by 360, not 90 divided by 365. Now, I'm going to do this multiplication, 1,200, <coughs> excuse me, times 0 0.09 times 90 divided by 360. When I work all that out on the calculator, I end up with $27. So $27 is the amount of interest that you will owe if you take out a loan of 12%, uh, a loan of $1,200 at 9% simple interest, and you keep it for 90 days. So if it's all paid back in 90 days at just simple interest, the amount of interest that you owe will be the $27. Let's look at our next problem. Okay, problem four, let's see. A woman puts $5,000 into a savings account that pays 6% annually. How much money is in the account at the end of two years? Okay, so now this pays 6% simple interest annually. So at the end of one year, I'm going to get 6% of this amount right here. So the first thing that I want to do is find out what that is. So the interest at the end of the first year will be the principal, it's the amount I started with at the beginning of the year, times 0 0.06 times one year. <clears throat> now that will come out to be 5,000 times 0 0.06, that will be $300 in interest. Now that's the first year. 
Now, starting the second year, the interest is going to be the principal, which is the amount of money that was in the account at the end of the first year, plus the interest that was earned after one year. So now that's $5,300 times 0 0.06 times one year. So this time now I have 0 0.06 times 5,300. That comes out to be, let's see, six times three is 18. So I'm gonna have $318. So now I wanna find the total amount of money in the account at the end of this two years. So at the end of the first year, I had $300 that I earned in interest. So the amount in the account was 5,300. Now I earned another $318 in interest, so I have to add that on to the amount that I had at the beginning of the year. So when I do that, I'm going to end up with a total of 5,300 plus 318, so $5,618. That will be the amount of money that's in the account at the end of two years if the account has $5,000 in it to begin with and earns 6% simple interest annually. So first I calculate the interest at the end of the first year, add that on to the principal, calculate the interest at the end of the second year, add that on, that's my total amount in the account at the end of two years.